But the American people also know that we're a nation of immigrants, a nation that's always been willing to give weary travelers from around the world the chance to come here and reach for the dream that so many of us have reached for. But this time around, I think it's fair to say that we saw parts of the immigration debate took a turn that was both ugly and racist in a way that we haven't seen since the struggle for civil rights. We want a president of the United States who's going to stand up to that kind of demagoguery. And you'll have one in Barack Obama when I'm in the Oval Office. We didn't walk away from injustice during the civil rights movement. We won't walk away from it today. I'll keep on fighting. I'll keep attending immigration rallies. I'll keep attending naturalization services. I'll keep believing that we can have a civil debate about immigration where we begin to recognize ourselves in one another. And when I'm president, I will put comprehensive immigration reform back on the nation's agenda. We're not going to have to wait for 10 years or 8 years to make this happen. In my first term, we will make this a priority and we will get this done. far beyond immigration. We don't expect our government to guarantee success and happiness, but when millions of children in America start the race of life so far behind, only because of race, only because of ethnicity, only because of class, that's a betrayal of our ideas. That's not just a Latino problem or an African-American problem, that's an American problem. That's a betrayal of our values and our ideas. It's an American problem that Latinos are most likely to be uninsured, even though they make up a disproportionate share of the workforce. It's an American problem when one in four Latinos can't communicate well with their doctor about what's wrong or fill out medical forms because there are language barriers that we refuse to break down. It's an American problem when our health care system is broken and it is time to fix it once and for all. I have a new personal health care plan that we can pass that will close disparities, will provide insurance to those without it, but will also make sure that those who do have health insurance are seeing their premiums cut by $2,500 a year. It's a plan that lets the uninsured buy insurance that's similar to the kind members of Congress give themselves. If you can't afford it, then we will give you a subsidy to pay for it. It's also time this country kept its promise of a world-class education for every child. Because, because it's an American problem when half of Latino children do not receive a high school diploma. It's an American problem when too many of these students who want to learn English. I don't know why everybody talks about passing the law making it a national requirement to learn English, and we don't fund programs to help people who want to learn English. We don't expect our government to guarantee success and happiness, but when millions of children in America start the race of life so far behind, only because of race, only because of ethnicity, only because of class, that's a betrayal of our ideas. That's not just a Latino problem or an African-American problem. That's an American problem. That's a betrayal of our values and our ideas. It's an American problem that Latinos are most likely to be uninsured, even though they make up a disproportionate share of the workforce. It's an American problem when one in four Latinos can't communicate well with their doctor about what's wrong or fill out medical forms because there are language barriers that we refuse to break down. It's an American problem when our health care system is broken, and it is time to fix it once and for all. Thank you.